Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here with Ram Studio Comics. And today's quick sketch uh, is going to be uh, just a, you know, a bit of a warm-up. And I'm doing this just with an ink pen. No, uh, no pre, you know, determined uh, drawing there. And that way you can kind of see, uh, sometimes it's fun to just do something like this and, and kind of uh, freestyle it. So, here we go. Let's see what we come up with. A lot of times I'll just start off with a uh, kind of an eye or something. And give it a little bit of shadowing. Oh, I guess I could center this more as I'm doing it. Forgive the uh, unstableness. Uh, my my sketches like this are having to be done off my my phone, so uh, that way I can you know do it. Uh, in between some stuff at work here. My day job. Fun, fun. But I just want to show you how sometimes you can kind of do this with just a pen and still come up with something decent. I'm not saying this will be one of my best uh, drawings by any means, but something's kind of fun about just, you know, sitting there and uh, doing something with ink like this and not, you know, not being so... Uh, um, what's the word set and you know what you're gonna do and so structured I guess you know this is more free-flowing and kind of fun and just fun little exercise I like these pens a lot too they're actually pretty good for just being a you know a traditional type of maybe ballpoint or something or resemblance of that you can actually get a nice uh, line variation with them um, you see I just kind of feather the line but I just kind of you know, kind of move the pen back and forth over the area of the line. I'm trying to get a little bit thicker, a deeper tone to it. And uh, it works pretty good like that, so. And I keep it kind of sketchy when I'm doing this effect because I don't have pencil lines and I'm just kind of, you know, doing this visually off what I picture in my, my head here. Um, so I just kind of sketch it at first. That's my way to kind of emulate what I would do with a pencil and then after I feel the pens in the right area I just start kind of inking uh, inking it in. I'm sure my symmetry will be off here especially trying to dance holding the camera and draw and not using uh, pre-sketch lines so bit, bit of a circus show going on right here actually This is always a tough part for me right here too, is like drawing this, you know, uh, wide open mouth, kind of screaming mouth or something like that. Seems like it'd be easy, but it's actually kind of tricky to get right. I don't know why. It's something about the mouth and the way it works. Um, I did watch, uh, I don't know if it was a video or if I read it on uh, some art form or something. So I do a lot of research on this kind of stuff. But somebody had a really good... Uh, tip to remember when you're drawing, uh, you know, this kind of comic book mouth or whatever. Keep in mind that the uh, the lower jaw uh, pivots down, and the top jaw doesn't move. Which you know, obviously that's common sense. But um, you'd be amazed at how many people, you know, don't think about that when they're drawing. And a lot of a lot of what knowing your anatomy and stuff is, is you know, just basically knowing it to where when you go to draw this stuff. You remember uh, little tips and cues like that, um, so it's it really does help to uh, visualize that stuff as you're drawing it. Sorry, I'm veering off there. Probably should have set this up on some kind of some kind of stand. And this isn't anybody in particular, just so you know. This is just a, uh, a practice kind of run to, you know, kind of freestyle and draw something without, like I said, you know, without having a whole lot of uh, structure and predetermined uh, line work. Just kind of having fun. I want to do more of this because I, for one, it's, it's a good practice to do while you're on the go. A lot of times I have to be because I... You know, I have to do a few different things to make incomes at, the, at this time. You know, which are all pretty much art related. Signs, graphics, drawing, you know, 
designing logos, whatever. So it's it's art related, design related, but um, I'm trying to get more known for this and and be able to work more in the you know just illustration uh, medium and stuff and segue more into that. So hopefully that happens over time. But being able to draw like this just on the go and not worry about you know having um, I don't know 50 different art supplies at your disposal. You know, just bringing around a, a sketch pad and a pen and a pencil or whatever, it's, it's kind of fun, you know, not not feeling like you got to be at your your studio with all your all your neat toys and gizmos. Like, I do a lot off of Wacom uh, Cintiq and uh, traditional Wacom and stuff like that. But every now and then it's cool to get back to the roots and just sit here and, and doodle. I'm going to give him pointed ears, so let's just go ahead and say he's a vampire. Kind of has a vampire-esque kind of look anyways. Vampires are fun anyways. I always get the ears crooked too. Like I always have like one ear higher than the other or, you know more lopsided or bigger or whatever but you know I kind of I kind of try to remember too that you know what none of us are completely symmetrical so that's not a big deal it's not like you know it's not like one of those things to, to pitch the drawing over because in all reality unless this is really bad really out of whack but none of us are symmetrical so why why would your drawings have to be you know so I mean it's good to practice symmetry for the sake of strengthening your drawing skills but uh, what kind of hair is this freaky vampire dude gonna have hair sucks by the way it's so hard to get I don't want to say it's hard to get right um, I just still to this point don't draw hair as well as I'd like to and you know I've had even compliments and people like oh man your hair the way you draw it's really cool I actually don't feel that way like I see it as being still a bit amateurish and um, I guess it's because I study you know other artists that, that do really phenomenal depthy looking you know cool hair and I see that and I, I see the mistakes that I have in my uh, drawing of it so I guess it's good that I'm noticing it but I still can't get it just right you know so especially this case because I'm going right to ink so it's gonna be a little bit off but um, yeah, so at any rate, I'm trying to improve that and get the get the feel for it. It's just so, you know, you think it'd be easy, but it's really easy to actually get um, get wrong. So, sorry, I keep having to move this camera. My arm's actually getting tired. Don't know if I'll be able to make it. Must endure. Carpal tunnel starting to take effect. Just kidding. I, I do think I have carpal tunnel, but it's not taking effect yet. I think any artist that draws 8 to 10 hours a day like we have to to do this stuff, or I don't know that we have to, but or that everybody has to, but I do. But uh, I think carpal tunnel is a serious uh, prospect, you know, to to be you know leery of that it's gonna eventually probably happen because especially with me because I use my hands not only to sit here and draw these comics uh, when I make people signs and I do more craftsman type stuff I'm constantly fabricating and you know sawing and, and uh, chiseling and doing different stuff with sign products so um, yeah I'm probably gonna you know I beat the crap out of my hands not to mention I used to box. Oh, nobody cares about that, but I used to box, so I used to just, you know, pummel my hands against people's faces. My poor little hands were just getting so beat up by these these guys and their their tough faces. I'm really just hitting the bag. I'm trying to make jokes here, but just punching the bag all the time and every now and then you'd curl your wrist, you know, you'd hit the bag and fold your wrist over. So I was fortunate, I didn't have that happen a whole lot, but it happened here and there and, you know, 
a few years from now I'm probably going to be feeling all that. Not to mention I always used to like to punch stuff to express my anger. You guys are probably like, what kind of artist are you, man? You're supposed to be passive and nice and libertarian and... Nope, I'm, I'm none of those things. Well, actually, I don't know if I'm libertarian or not. I'd have it, actually have to look that up and get back with you. I'm pretty sure I'm more towards the conservative side. I don't know. I don't know all the big words, so... I just like drawing pictures. It's fun. Alright, so I'm almost done with my little doodle here. It's not the greatest. I'm kind of kind of regretting this. But, you know, hey, it's that's why a sketch is a sketch, and it's for fun, and you guys are probably hating me because of my <laughs> cameraman inability here. But there is a certain amount of... Uh, coolness about just working with ink and kind of scribbling it down and you know having fun with it so that's that's really why I wanted to do this so it's my little my little lunch sketch I'll call it I'll try to maybe do a series of these and you know each time I'll try to get a better setup with my camera and you know try to get a tripod of some kind um, maybe bring in I've got a little HD cam at home maybe I can just bring that in with me if I continue to do these well, probably not, because my girl loves uh, having that on hand, so we can tape the uh, the new baby. You gotta tape the baby. So, yeah. So, anyways, there's my uh, my little quick vicious vampire dude. Now, I'm not gonna keep going because I could just keep adding and adding and go on for hours. But you know, whatever that took, I don't know. I think we're at 12 minutes or something. That's my little 12 minute sketch. Not a whole lot of cross hatching or nothing like that. The eyes are a little funky, but, um, and then what I could actually do is come in there and, you know, I should have grabbed a Sharpie too, but the point of this was kind of just using one tool, little to, you know, none. I, I could grab all kinds of various tools and I could have did this a lot better, but for brevity's sake, you know, I just wanted to use uh, one tool, this one pen, which, you know, try these pens out. They're actually pretty freaking awesome. And you can get them, like, at Staples and Office Max and stuff like that. And they're they're kind of good pens. I mean, they got two different size tips. And they, you know, for one of the more ballpoint type pens, they give you a really nice feel. I mean, I'm not saying it's a crow quill or a brush or anything like that. But uh, definitely nice to add to the little arsenal of uh, stuff that you use for inking. So, yeah, at any rate... Hopefully you dig that, and uh, be sure to check out my videos. Oh yeah, one more thing. Gotta do this part. Pow! My little signature. Now that just went from being worth 22 cents of paper and ink to a dollar fifty. So be on the lookout for that. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in the future, and I will try to get that in there and, uh, you know, show you what you want to see and, and uh, help you out as an artist because that's what it's all about. So take care of yourself. Have fun. Keep drawing. Bye-bye.